If you're like me and you want to stream from your PC to TikTok um, and you don't really like the idea of setting up your camera somewhere behind you just looking at the screen or sorry your phone somewhere behind you just looking at the screen um, and you've been searching the internet for every possible way of doing this come across all these weird ways of doing things and not had much luck um, I noticed that yesterday I've got this option on my TikTok live appeared called mobile gaming and what that means is that you can go live and you can switch apps on your phone and it will go live with the screen of your phone not really what I wanted ideally I wanted um, a stream key but I don't have that option um, so with this mobile gaming way we can still use OBS on a PC we can but we just have to find a way on your mobile phone to view what's being streamed through OBS um, so I'm going to show you a way which I found can do this um, I'm not saying it's the best way there are other ways of doing it but I think this way will give a bit more flexibility um, so what you'll need is the mobile gaming option available in your TikTok Live and you will need the VLC app on your phone that you want to go live from. So I'm going to assume that the PC that you have that you want to go live from um, it's got quite a bit of power, not the need a lot of power to make this work. Um, we're going to install a web server which I only recently discovered is pronounced Nginx, not Nginx, but um, specifically we want to download the Griffin version here. So we're going to download that. Nice small download. And we're also going to download these redistributables down here. We're going to get those installed quickly. Um, I've already got them newer versions installed but you want to make sure you've got them both installed let's check the other one yeah we've already got newer ones installed but you need those as a minimum um, and then what we're going to do we are going to grab the zip file for nginx griffin so we're going to extract that to this it'll be my crit folder on your desktop with all the software in the next step is we're going to go into that folder and we're going to go into configs okay so we're going to right click edit with notepad plus plus um, if you don't have notepad plus plus you should get it um, if you do this type of thing often uh, otherwise just opening with standard notepad is just fine uh, so what we're going to do we're going to see this uh, configuration file here we're going to scroll right to the bottom and we're going to put these couple of lines in that just says we want an RTMP instance and we specify the server, default port, um, application show live on, record off. You can put record on, but then you do need to specify a path for it to record your live stream. But if you just want to live, live, live on is just fine. Okay, so that is our RTMP server setup. Okay, so what we need to do next is we need to open a command prompt window. And in here, by default, you just need to navigate to where you extracted uh, Nginx Griffin to. So in my case, it's in a folder on desktop. But um, So what we're going to do, we're going to change to the desktop folder. We're going to see change to the nginx folder and then you can see there that I'm in the folder um, I can just check all the files are there by typing that command and we can see the nginx.exe file so we want to start that by typing the exe dash c for config and the conf folder backslash nginx dash win you can press tab to uh, auto complete. Uh, so we can type that command. We're going to hit enter, 
and our web server has started. Okay, so we're going to go into OBS settings and go to stream, set the service to custom. The server is going to be rkmp colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1. Forward slash show, and the stream key can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to call it test. You can see there, test uh, show is what we put in the the um, the nginx config file at the bottom. So that's where it says show, and we press OK, and from here we just click start streaming. So we can verify that by opening VLC on our computer. Go to media, open network stream. And in here, you want to type in RTMP, colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 slash show slash test. And then we're going to click play. And here it is. You can see that this gets really confusing really quickly. So if I resize the <laughs> VLC window, you can see there that it's a window within a window within a window, and it's going to keep going. There's a few seconds delay, but whatever OBS sees is now in the stream and the stream is loaded in VLC so there's going to be that never-ending cycle but that's fine that's what we want we can close VLC we're happy that it's streaming from OBS to Nginx on this PC so anything on this local network now can access that RTMP stream before we go any further uh, we just need to make sure that we get the IP address of the computer that is hosting the nginx server um, very easy to do the, the 127 number will not work on another computer which is why we need to make sure we get an, uh, a note of this now so the easy way to do it open up a command prompt type in ipconfig and press enter you're going to look for your main network adapter um, which in my case is Ethernet adapter Ethernet. We're looking for the IPv4 address. So in my case, it's 192.168.0.85. We're going to need that on the next device, which is going to be my phone. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our mobile phone and open the VLC app. We're going to go to more at the bottom and we're going to hit new stream and in here we're going to type in the address of the computer running the nginx server so like in my case it's um the ip address we just plucked out of the command prompt a few moments ago but when we type this in we're going to make sure we put in rtmp colon forward slash forward slash before the ip address so in my case the ip address is 192.168.0.85 and then we add the part from the config file, which is show. That can be live, it can be anything you want it to be. And then your stream key, which is, in my case, is test. And then we press that and we wait. And there it is. We are streaming my desktop through OBS over the network to the VLC app on my phone. Great. So with now with that stream running, you want to head over to TikTok. You want to click create down the bottom. Head to oh, there's me. Head to live. Scroll across to mobile gaming. Hit go live. Start now. It says we're now screen sharing, so now we're going to go back to VLC. We 
wait for VLC to load. There it is. So whatever's on my desktop being recorded through OBS is now live on TikTok. <laughs>